Welcome back to Management Decision Tools on Forecasting. In this section, we'll look at Moving Average Method. Uh, moving Average Method is a kind of a horizontal method. That is, it assumes that the data has some sort of an average. What goes up must come down. And the idea is that it is a nice uh, in-between uh, method between naive method, the last value method, and the averaging method. That one, the, the, the method that, that, that averages up all data in our database. So in this case, we need to first choose our the extent to which we average the data. And that extent is called the window size. Okay, let me just put it in here. All right, so we need to choose the window size. And in this case, the example given here is that we choose a window size of three uh, that's a choice, right? That's a choice. Of course, if it's exam or quiz questions, the the question will come with uh, the window size n equals 3 or n equals 4. But if it is if you yourself who are deciding, then we find that uh, if, uh, if you have n equals to everything, all right, if, if first of all n equals to 1, then you see that the moving average method becomes the naive method. And if n equals to all data, then moving average method becomes the averaging method that we saw just now. So by controlling n, by choosing n appropriately, we are able to have uh, to strike you know, a, a gradual shift from naive method to averaging method. And what's the point of being able to do this shift? The idea is Naive method is very good at rapidly changing data, right? So we sort of discussed this earlier on in the previous sec uh, segment. Um, so, so it's very good for rapidly changing data. And the averaging method is good when the data is not very exciting, it's dull, right? So, so uh, if it is the case, then we choose the averaging method. So somewhere in between, if it is kind of mildly fluctuating, then what should we do? Or if it is at first not so exciting, and then start, uh, uh, as time passes, it, it gradually becomes more and more exciting. So what should we do? Well, uh, the moving average method allows us to discuss this level of uh, uh, activity right in the data by changing appropriately the value of n. So by picking n small, uh, 1 or even 2, then we are able to uh, let the algorithm or the forecasting value adapt to a rapidly changing data. And then as data slows down to some sort of uh, non-movement, then we can gradually increase n as time passes. Yeah? So a uh, very adaptive and versatile method by having this controlling lever called n, window size. So about the window size, it controls uh, the kind of calculations that uh, the extent of data that we take into account in the calculations. So here in the example, n equals to 3, what we do is in the forecast for time 7, we take 6 and 5 and 4, x6, x5, x4, and average them up, and that gives us 100, uh, 1090. So that is our forecast forecast okay when the time comes and the data turns out to be uh, example one zero 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 a thousand then what do we do well nothing we have an error between one zero nine zero our forecast and a thousand then what do we do uh, in for the forecast of time eight for the forecast of time eight it will be well as you can imagine the average of one thousand plus 1350 plus 1120 divided by 3. That is assuming that your n is not changed, right? If we keep n at 3, then it will be. So in this case, you see that the originally the data capture window was here to forecast time 7. But once the data for time 7, x of 7, comes in, then our window has shifted to the right. Yeah, so we now take 1120, 1350, 1000 to average. And it seems like the 
the uh, the data consumption window has shifted to the right and to that extent we say that it is moving right the window is moving to the right so that's why moving average